Today we're looking at the Jaguar X-Type 2.5 V6 all-wheel drive. And before we get started, I'm going to mention the Ford Mondeo. <laughs> because I believe that 30% of this platform is Mondeo based. But who cares? Ford Mondeo is not a bad car anyway. It's a posh Ford Mondeo. Got 194 brake horsepower. It's 6040, I believe. Split four wheel drive. And it is it a Jag? Oof, the verdict's out. The verdict is out. A Jag to me is a big engined semi luxury car. Something nice when you sit in it, you can feel niceness. Now, I haven't reviewed any cars in a while, so this is going to be uh, the first one for a while, but there's more coming. We're buying more kit, we're buying more equipment so we can get a better video, better content. It looks like a Jaguar. It looks a bit like an XJ, but a baby version. Now, fuel economy wise, I've been using this car for many months now, and I'm getting about 25 tick gallon, but we'll, we'll catch up on that in a bit. Now, under the bonnet is a 2.5 Ford Duratec engine. It's a V6 and it's silky smooth, I must admit it is silky, silky smooth. Now Nobel used this in the M16 I think, I'll have to rejog my memory on that one. But they put two turbochargers on it. Now like I said this produced 194 horsepower, which is not too bad, it's not underpowered. It's not fast, but it's not underpowered. Should we see what it sounds like under here? On the inside, you get hints of Ford, but a lot of Jaguar. And again, like I said, a Mondeo is not a bad car. But it's just when Jaguar start badging Mondeos up as Jags, a lot of purists and, and fanboys really, really got upset by it. So let's look at the interior features and what they could have done better. So on the inside you're welcomed with some fake leather, leatherette and plastics, really cheap plastics. The wood to be fair is not bad, the wood's not bad at all. Again, essence of Ford. Behind the steering wheel though, I must admit. Shut that door, it's cold. Behind the steering wheel, it feels like you're in a Jaguar. Let's push this steering wheel back. It actually feels like you're in a Jaguar. I mean, I've had many XJs. Uh, S-Type again, people say S-Type's Ford Mondeo. I'm still trying to find something what says Ford, but 
but I haven't found anything yet. So this is the interior. It's a nice combination of leather, leatherette, fake wood, possibly real wood. Seats are really comfy. I'll get that. But this is where the Ford comes out. The plastics. Like the dashboard, it's... Stuff rattles. You know, it just feels cheap, like this plastic. It's cheap plastic. Another big giveaway of the Fordness, essence of Ford, is this armrest. Now, this armrest is... It's flimsy! Literally flimsy. Like, you know it's going to break. You literally know one day you're going to break it. Slides. Stereo system. It's, it's good, to be fair. It, uh, I don't think uh, you could have got it any better for the price of, of, the, of the Jag. I mean, these now, these are really cheap cars. What to avoid? Well, I'd avoid diesels like plague. I'd just stick with petrol. So have a look at fuel economy, see what we get. Or see what we have been getting. Mute stereo. So we've got a range of 39 miles. Average fuel consumption. Now bear in mind, my wife uses this car and I use it every now and then. So we're getting 22.8 gallon average. Average speed's 29 miles per hour. And that was taken over a course of 793 miles what we've done in the vehicle. I cannot fault the vehicle, to be fair. It's just a cheapness at plastics. Come on, Jag. But they ain't saying that Ford did own it. As you can tell, I think they're Ford switches. A lot of it feels Ford, even indicators. They feel like Ford Mondeo indicators. The key. That's a Ford key. Like I said, is it bad that it's a Ford? Or got a bit of Ford in it? It's a bit like having one of them mates. You know, we've all got that mate who's got a bit of summit in him. A bit of inbred or something daft like that. And this is Ford breeding with a Jaguar. Now, climate control. Just mute the stereo. So you've got your your button to uh, put the blowers up, blow up down. You've got rear demist, right, sorry, rear demist, front demist. This one hasn't got the windscreen. What like does it instantly? You know, with the lines in the back, the heated windscreen. It hasn't got it. Aircon's beautiful. Now the stereo system, like I said, it's pretty good. I can't fault it. It's just a Ford. <laughs> I didn't really want to do this review saying it's a Ford, it's a Ford, it's a Ford. Should we drive? Let's have a look what it drives like. Should we see if it does not 60 in 8.9 seconds? We'll find out. On way to uh, the 60 mile an hour road, I thought I'd just give you a quick update while we drive. I mean, it, it drives really smooth, honestly. It's so smooth. The gearbox, again, I've had Jaguars in the past and the gearbox has been a bit rubbish. Whereas this one, it changes so smooth. The engine warning light's on due to needing a lambda sensor. They're about 19 quid on eBay. I've just not got around to fitting it yet. There's two options to have gearbox in. You can have it in normal or sport. I've just got it in normal at the minute, but when we do not 60 run, I'll put it in sport. Like it drives so smooth. As soon as we're getting near the uh, 60 mile an hour road, 
This is actually a 50, so we can pull his foot down a bit. This is in normal mode. So we're in sport, aircon off, three, two, one, launch, 40, 50, 60. So let's wrap this up, let's give it a Kiwi score, look wise it looks nice, it looks, it's got them classic Jaguar lines, it looks like a baby XJ and that's what the market wanted, something they could bomb up in that motorway in, a daily XJ. Engine wise again silky smooth, I can't fault the gearbox at all, usually gearboxes on Jaguars are a bit bit slow and rubbish this is uh, really all right it's really nice engine wise silky smooth v6 it's got the right amount of power it's not too slow it's not too fast interior build quality could do a bit bit better get rid of them cheap Ford plastics but AO it was a cheap car to start with so they've got to cut costs somewhere now would I recommend you buy one of these is it worth buying Yes, just avoid the diesels like the plague and you should be all right. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and if you want to drop a comment, if it's a rubbish video, tell me in comments. Give me some, uh, some abuse in the comments. Thanks for watching.